Hi there everyone. So this question may sound a little bit lengthy, but it's actually not as complicated as you think. Okay, so let's start by thinking about this. When we're talking about speed, something or someone must be traveling, correct? So in order to understand this question, we must first identify who are the people that are traveling and what are their starting and ending points. Okay, so let's first see how many people are being mentioned in the question. We have your dad, your mom, okay, as well as you. So that makes three of you. Do you manage to get that? Okay, then next, where are the places that are being mentioned here? Okay, we have your home, the supermarket, okay, as well as the shopping mall. Three places too. Looks like we have all the information that we need, okay? So let's try to draw a speed diagram to help us see what is going on better. Okay, we know that there are three points, okay? So let's label your home, the supermarket, okay? As well as the shopping mall. Now let's read through the question again. So that drove your mom from your home to the supermarket, okay? So this is what we know. Then from the supermarket, your mom walked 2km to a nearby shopping mall at a speed of 4 kilometers per hour. So this is your mom's journey. And we label what we know over here, the 2 km, okay, followed by her speed, okay, 4 kilometers per hour. Next, at the same time, your dad drove home from the supermarket to pick you up. So this arrow in red, okay, signifies your dad's journey. And then what happens? He then drove along the same route from home, okay, to meet your mom at the shopping mall. And throughout the whole journey, your dad traveled at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. So let's put that down as well. And finally, all of you reached the shopping mall at the same time. And the question is asking us to find the distance between your home and the shopping mall. Now, since this is a speed question, we would naturally think of the DST triangle, correct? Okay, the distance speed time triangle. So, the first question that we need to ask ourselves is this, okay? What do we know from the speed diagram? So looking at the speed diagram over here, we know the distance that your mom traveled, correct? Okay, it's 2 kilometers over here. And her speed, which is 4 kilometers per hour. So since we know the distance and we know her speed, we would be able to find the time taken by your mom to reach the shopping mall, okay? And we do that by taking the distance divided by speed, Okay, so 2 divided by 4 will give us 0 0.5 hours. What else do we know? We know that during this 0 0.5 hours, your mom traveled from the supermarket to the shopping mall, while your dad traveled from the supermarket back home to the shopping mall. Correct? So in other words, the time taken by your dad to travel that distance would be 0 0.5 hours as well. And guess what? We also know your dad's speed. So since we have your dad's speed and the time taken, we would be able to find out what's the distance that your dad traveled. And in order to calculate that, we will take the speed times time. So 0 0.5 times 80 would give us 40 km. Great! That's very useful for us, okay? Because now we know that in total, your dad traveled a distance of 40 kilometers. The distance between the supermarket and the shopping mall is 2 kilometers. So we can go on to find out what is the distance between your home and the supermarket. Okay, and we do that by taking the total distance that your dad traveled, 40 km, minus 2 km. And because your dad actually traveled to and fro from the supermarket to your home, we take that amount and divide by 2. Okay, since the distance are equal. So this will give us a value of 19 km. Now that we know the distance between your home and the supermarket and the distance between your supermarket and the shopping mall, are you able to find the distance between your home and the shopping mall? That's easy, right? All you need to do is to take 19 plus 2 and this will give us our final answer of 21km.